So I spent a decent amount of money. Hey guys, it's Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a clothing slash try on haul for, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Shein or Shein? I believe it's Shein is how you pronounce it, but I have seen so many people talking about this company and I just kind of figured it was a shady company. But then actually my sister ordered a skirt from there and it was super cute. And my thing is I am a college student, I am on a budget, and I am so sick of the clothes I have in my closet. They're just not really my style anymore, they're from like three or four years ago. And so when I found out that majority of these clothes are good quality and they don't take a million years to get to you, then I thought... Let's go ahead and give this a shot. 17 things, and I will tell y'all the price that I paid for them. I think I placed my order at like 11 a.m. that day at 4 p.m. I had an email that stuff had already shipped, and so I thought that was really cool. But the thing is, it came from two different like distributors or warehouses, and the one that came first was only five products, and then the ones that came in the second one, they arrived within like the same day of each other, so that part was good, but the one from the second all smell terrible. Like they smell like smoke and like I need to wash all of them. Also I want to say that when you spend over a hundred dollars you get free, what's it called? Expedited shipping. And so it says about two to four days. So I guess let's start with the first package that showed up. One thing about this app is say like a shirt is on there for twenty dollars. There's also going to be different times where you could buy that shirt for like four dollars, twelve dollars, and there's different fluctuations. So if I bought a shirt for $25, there's a chance that you could buy that today for $12. It just depends. You really have to watch their flash sales. So here I got these leggings, and they're just some black leggings. I wear leggings all the time, especially to class. And I it had like this white stripe down the side, and I thought it was cute and kind of trendy. These originally retailed for $20. I paid $9, and they are now on sale for $6. $9 leggings, and they're actually really cute, and they feel thin. But when you put them on, they're comfortable, and I was doing kind of like little squat tests to see if like you could see through them when I'm trying to sit down, and you couldn't, so good enough for me. Okay, so I got two skirts, and this next one I'm super excited about, so it's this like leather skirt with these studs, and it zips up in the back, and it also has like built-in shorts, so I guess you could say this is a skirt, which I actually like the shorts because it's a little bit short of a skirt, so it's nice not having to worry about like bending over. Some people didn't like the shorts and they cut them out. So that skirt was selling for $15 and I paid $12.75, but it's actually back up to $15 now. Next is another skirt I got and I'm actually, this is probably one that I just don't really care that much for. It looked really cute in the picture and my thing is, I was hoping it'd be a little bit more high-waisted, and I got the smallest size you could. I'm really tiny, to be fair, like I have a really tiny waist. I should have known better than to assume that that would fit me high-waisted, but as you can see in these shots, like, it's a, it's pretty big on me. It's definitely something I may have to get tailored, but it's also, like, ugh, not really worth it to go get it tailored. That skirt retailed for $35. I bought it for $11.90, and now it is down to $11 dollars even. Then the next thing I got was actually a pair of shoes and I ordered the box was like so beat up. I ordered two pairs of shoes and they're pretty similar and it's because I didn't know which one I'd like more. So these are a bit I like I think that I like these more. They're a bit more casual. I got these in a US size 7 which I'm usually between like a six and a half to seven so I decided to size up because I just would prefer it to be a little bit too big than too tiny but these I believe I paid $35 for them but I really wanted some nice booties and I wanted a heel to like dress it up but I wanted a chunky heel so it's more comfortable and I can wear them more often because um, I definitely don't rock heels that much and I want it to be comfortable so I thought those are really cute so those originally retail for $30 on their site I got it for $21.25 and they're now on sale for $25. And the last thing that was in this first shipment was this red dress, which I'm not in love with this. I mean, it was just like a, it was pretty cheap and so I was like, yeah, sure, let's get it. I think it was like maybe $10, I'll have to look it up. I like that it has built-in padding so you don't have to worry about like wearing a bra with this, but the only thing that's annoying is like the way it's sewn in on the cup is like right in like the nip area and so it looks like you're nipping when you're wearing this and so I just don't this isn't as flattering on me as I was expecting and I actually picked up another red dress like this from Marshalls for $13 and that's what I actually ended up wearing 
for Valentine's Day instead of this, and I think that one's more flattering. I think maybe if you're a little bit curvier than me, this would look great on you, and the cinching on the side, like, is very flattering, but maybe just, like, for my body type, these kind of dresses are really hit and miss, but I thought I'd try it out because it was pretty inexpensive, but like I said, I wasn't crazy about this one. This dress is usually $10. I paid $8 for it, and it's now selling for $8.49. Okay, moving on to the second shipment. So I got this gray little cami. Uh, I think that's what you'd call this. I don't know. It's just a little tank top that's gray and has a little lace up, and I think this is super cute. I like to wear this kind of stuff with, like, long cardigans or jackets. This retailed for $7. I paid $5.95 and now it is back up to $7. Next thing I got was this sweater and it's a green sweater. They have all different colors but I picked the green one because I love green. I have green eyes too so it just like works well together and so it's actually really it's not super soft but it's like really warm and thick material it's not really thin i got it in a small and then it has this like lace detailing that's just like sewn onto the edge but i thought this was super cute it's very comfortable i like to tuck in my sweaters i think that's more complimentary to like your body shape and so that's what i would do with it you can also do like off the shoulder with it retails for 14 dollars i paid 10 dollars and 20 cents and now it's on sale for $12. This next piece is a little tank top. I love this. This was pretty affordable too. I think this is a cute shirt to just throw on, but it kind of just makes your outfit. This is a oh, ribbed tank top, that's what it's called. It retailed for $6. I bought it for $5, and it's now back to $6. I also got another dress. I definitely love this dress so much. I will say it's pretty short though. But I think in the right occasion, it will be okay. Um, it just zips up in the back. It's super nice quality. It has multiple layers, so it's not see-through. There's not much to say about this. I love the color. I think it's just such a sweet, romantic dress. So this dress retails for $11. I paid $9 for it, and now it's back to $11. Here's a little black tank top that I picked up. It's also ribbed, I guess that's the term. But I also did one that's a deep cut here. I really like this. It's so simple, but it's actually really, really flattering. This retails for $12. I paid $5, and now it is at $6. Next thing may not look super flattering in this shot because I have jeans on, but I plan to wear this with, I think, the leather skirt. But it's just this. This is a little bit different. I don't really wear patterns, but I thought this was so cute with like a little tiny black skirt and some booties. So I can actually make a whole outfit with the stuff I bought from here. But it's a super stretchy, just tight plaid shirt. They had all different colors of plaid too, but I thought this would be the most flattering with like my skin tone and my hair color. So this outfit like this with like black little mini skirt and booties gives me such like Rachel Green vibes. It's a mock neck plaid tee. So it retailed for $9.00. I paid $7 for it, and now it retails for $6. This more red one, then there's a yellow one, and then there's blue. Another thing I picked up that I will not be showing is just a underwear and bra set, and I paid $4 for it. Also, I'll link all the stuff that I purchased down below, so if y'all are wanting any of this, you can go grab it. Okay, this next thing I got is a super cute t-shirt, and you may just be like, girl, it's just a t-shirt. But the way they cut it is so flattering. So it's just a USA t-shirt, which I've always been a fan of these kind of styles. I'm not really sure why. And then it just has a little American flag, even though it's actually, like, not the American flag. Like, the idea is the same, but there's only 12 stars. Hopefully no one will look too detailed at that. But I think it's cute and simple. They have it cut higher on the front and then lower in the back, which I think is super flattering. I have it on with jeans, but... I think it would be cute to wear with the leggings I showed y'all earlier that have the line down the side. I think that would be a really cute matchup. It retailed for $9. I paid $7 and now it's back up to $9. I'm super excited about this because I thought this was such a steal. This is definitely a going out shirt because you can see like straight through it. But it's another one of those tight shirts, kind of like the plaid one. Um, but it's see-through and it's all sparkles, which I hate glitter, but this actually, like, you rub it and glitter doesn't get on you, which makes me so excited. This is the perfect kind of, like, glittery shirt for me to wear, but I thought this would also be cute with the black skirt that I got, like that leather skirt. Mock neck form-fitting glitter tee. It retailed for $15. I paid $5, and it's now on sale for $6. Also, they threw in this little pouch because I spent so much money, which I don't know how I feel about that, um, but it's just, I think it said it retails for $5, and I just got it for free, but it's this little coin purse, which is pretty cute. It's like a nice pastel pink, and it's just 
a little thing to put your coins in. Like I mentioned earlier, I got more shoes. And I'm sorry, basically the whole video I was looking this way. It's because my viewfinder is right there. I'm not used to my camera being right there. But these are the other shoes I got. So these are a little bit more fancy. They have a thinner heel. Both are pointed, but these are like pointier. And then I wanted ones that came up kind of tall because I have... This is what started is I had black booties and they were low and they were really wide at the ankle and I have tiny ankles so it just looked really funky on me and like made my feet look really clunky. So I wanted to get ones that came up and were like loose so they would fit well around my ankle and so that's why I picked these up. These shoes are okay. I definitely like the other black shoes I got. These are definitely going to be special occasion shoes. Um, just because the heel is so thin that it's kind of scary. So they retail for $26. I paid $20 for these. Now they're selling for $24. I got this in a Euro size 37. And they have like a size conversion chart for you as well. So that's how I need to get this size. Last thing that I got. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. The last thing I got is probably one of my favorite things. So this sweater is super soft. It's really thick. And it's a crop sweater. I think this is so freaking cute. And so as you can see here, it's really long and then it like tapers, not tapers, but it's cut shorter in the center. And this is so cute, guys. And as you can see here, like I feel like it's super flattering. This retails at full price for $11. This stuff feels high quality. Like this feels like something you'd go to the store and spend like $50 to buy. So it retails for $11. I got it for $9. It's currently selling for $8. Dollars. If you buy anything from here, I think this is the biggest steal. I was a little worried because, like I said, it does smell kind of like smoke, but it says that you can wash it. Like, it says it's washer safe. So I am excited about that. And you know this whole like, white fur thing is such a trend right now, like the fuzzy shirts. So I say run, run, run and go get it. Also I want to say that I used Ebates to get cash back. I got like maybe $15 cash back. And then I also used Honey for coupons. Honey got me like $30 off. Alright guys, so I think that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoy this. I don't usually do try-ons. Let me know if that's something y'all like. I'm thinking about maybe doing one that's for summer, like a swimsuit haul and maybe like shorts and crop tops. Even though there were some crop tops in here. But I think that could be really fun as well. So let me know if that's something y'all are interested in. And I think I'll maybe place another order. Uh, but with that being said, I'm so blown away with the quality of these products. I mean, some of them are even better than the stuff I go get from like Marshalls. Let me know what y'all think about this company. I definitely want to try this out because I was curious about the quality. And curious about like if I'd actually get what I ordered. Because sometimes it's like, oh, it's good quality but it's actually not what I ordered or it didn't look like the photos. I think all of this really does look like the photos that were on there. If it looks different, it's just because it's like my body type's different, but overall, everything looks pretty spot on. And also I do wanna say that at mo under most of them, they have reviews and people will actually post photos. So and it looks like legit because they're just in their rooms posing. It's not like stock photos. And so they'll be just like in their room posing and you'll see what the skirt looks like or the shirt looks like and that actually did affect whether I bought some things or not. That being said, I'm going to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I also hope you like, comment, and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!